Hi children, today let us look at measuring a bigger unit. I am sure you are going to enjoy. When you say bigger unit, we talk about your dad goes on the road. Dad takes you to another city, go for a long picnic. So how many kilometers he has to travel? Supposing your dad is going in a plane. He is flying in a plane from Chennai to Delhi. How many kilometers he might have traveled? What about a ship? You might love to go in the sea. So you might like to go from one place to another in the big wide ocean. How many kilometers has the ship traveled to reach that place? So we are looking at today measuring bigger unit. That is, on the road, on the rail where the train goes, in the sky, in the waters, the bigger unit let's learn to measure. Look, let's look at our first picture. Look, now you, all of us love to make road journeys, in the cycle, in the car, or, or in a bigger, big bus. Yes, you go on picnics. Or you might go, like to go and see your grandma in another state. You take a road journey. Yes? So now, when you talk about the road journey, you calculate in kilometers. It's a bigger unit. Kilometer, short form, km. From your house to your school, how many kilometers do you travel to reach your school? You might be cycling. Or you might be going in a bus, you might, mommy, daddy must be taking you in the car, or you're going in the school van. You have to calculate by kilometers. How long? What's the distance you cover? 5 kilometers, 12 kilometers, whatever, from your house to the school. How many kilometers did you travel to reach your school? Yes? So we are looking at on the road. You can only measure in kilometer. From your house to the bus stop, maybe one kilometer. From your house to the market, maybe two kilometers. From your house to your friend's place, maybe five kilometers. You might cycle or you might go in a car. Yes? Good. So, anything on the road, any vehicle going on the road, you have to measure only in big. Is that kilometers? Good. Let's look at another picture. I hope you are enjoying, children. Good. Here we are. The teacher says, "Come on," or mommy says, "Come on." We are going on a long journey in a huge ship. Come on, let's get into the ship. Why? Because we can travel in the water. So you are going to go from one place to another. And the distance you measure in kilometers. How many kilometers the ship traveled from your place where you took to the destination? Let's say you are going from Chennai to Calcutta in a ship. How many kilometers have you covered? You are going from Cochin all the way to, you are going to Bombay all in a ship. How many kilometers are there? That you have to, and how many days will you take to travel so many days? You might have covered so many kilometers. So, in the water, when a boat or a ship travels, you will measure in kilometers. What is the short form of kilometer? Km. So, anything that goes on the sea. What are the things you see at the sea going? Yacht, small boats, and Ferry boats and big ships, all calculated in kilometers. Are you enjoying? Let's look at another picture. Now here sky. Road, we said. Sky. The sea, we said. Now sky. What goes in the sky? Yes, aeroplane goes in the sky. Your dad travels from Delhi to Chennai. How many kilometers he might have traveled? So, 
anything that flies in the sky is measured in kilometers. The airplane starts from Chennai and it takes so many kilometers, so many hours to reach Mumbai. So, anything that travels in the sky, you measure in kilometers. Good. Next, what else goes in the sky? Birds. Some birds, many birds, they fly in flocks, in groups. Flocks of birds fly from one place to another. Birds love to go into warm places. When a place becomes snowy and very cold, the birds fly away to a warmer place and they fly in the sky in patterns. And how do we measure that? In kilometers, from one country to another country, from cold country to a warm country, birds fly in flocks and we measure that as kilometer. So, the bigger measurement, road, you travel on the road, you measure in kilometers. What about the train? Train goes on a, on the road or on the rail, you measure in kilometers. The distance travelled by the train from Chennai to Delhi, how many kilometers? The birds that fly in the sky, the airplane that go in the sky, the helicopters that fly in the sky, you measure in kilometers. Good. I hope you enjoyed this exercise.